This project demonstrates the construction of high-pass and low-pass filters using a resistor and capacitor, as well as how to generate an input signal and measure the output of the filter. To complete this lab, you will use a National Instruments MyDAC device and a MyDAC protoboard or other breadboard. The only components required to complete this lab are a 1 kilo ohm resistor and a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Note that the capacitor has one lead that is longer than the other. The longer lead is the positive lead. Start by placing the resistor and the capacitor on your breadboard with the positive lead of the capacitor connected to the resistor. Now connect analog output 1 of the positive bus and analog ground to the negative bus of the breadboard. Connect the resistor to the positive bus and the negative lead of the capacitor to the negative bus. We will use analog input 1 to monitor the input signal and analog input 2 to monitor the output of the filter. To do this, connect AI0 plus to the positive bus and AI0 minus to the negative bus. Then connect analog input 1 plus to the positive lead of the capacitor and analog input 1 minus to the negative bus. This is an example of the complete circuit and wiring. Now we use the function generator included with the MIDAC software to create an input signal. Start by clicking the FGen icon on the NI Elvis MX instrument launcher. For this lab, we'll use an amplitude of 10 volts peak to peak. Start with the frequency set to 100 hertz and make sure that the sine waveform is chosen. Now click the run button. To measure the input signal and the output signal, we'll use the oscilloscope function included with the MyDAC Instruments uh, software package. Enable both channel 0 and channel 1 and ensure that they're set to AI0 and AI1 respectively. Change the trigger setting to edge and the source to channel 0. Now click the run button. Since this is a low pass filter, the amplitudes of the input and output signals are nearly identical. If you change the input signal frequency to something that's closer to the cutoff frequency of the filter, you'll be able to see how the filter is attenuating the output signal. In this case, I'm going to use a 1 kilohertz signal. In order to see this clearly, you'll need to change your time division settings down to a lower amount so that it gives you a, a smaller snapshot. If you have these display measurements checked, the channel 0 and channel 1 display measurements, you'll see that the uh, software gives you the RMS voltage, a frequency, and a voltage peak to peak for each signal. In this case, our input signal is on channel 0, and our output signal is on channel 1, and you can see the difference between the two. You'll also notice that there is a difference in the phase angle between the input and output signal. In order to measure this, you'll have to turn your cursors on and drag the cursors to a reference point on each signal. In this case, I'm going to use the zero crossing from positive side to negative side. This gives you a time delta. In order to calculate the uh, angle between these two signals, or the difference in the angle between these two signals, you'll need to find the period of the, free, of the uh, signal. For one kilohertz signal, the period is one millisecond. The difference in this angle is equal to 360 degrees divided by the period of the signal times the time delta. So 360 degrees divided by one multiplied by 0.12 
for 120 microseconds gives a time delta of 43.2. Since the output leads the input with a low pass filter, or correction, lags the input with a low pass filter, this would be a negative 43.2 degree difference. The next thing I'll demonstrate is how to make a uh, Bode plot of the uh, system's frequency response. A Bode plot is a method of showing a system's re frequency response by plotting the uh, magnitude versus the frequency and phase versus frequency on a logarithmic or a linear scale. Start by clicking the uh, Bode icon on your uh, NI Elvis MX instrument launcher. Start frequency will set to 100 hertz. Stop frequency to 10 kilohertz. Steps will be five per decade. And the uh, max amplitude that this uh, Bode analyzer will let you set is uh, five, uh, five volts. Uh, but it doesn't matter because really what you're measuring is uh, gain and phase, so it's uh, relative. We'll start with the logarithmic, logarithmic mapping. Click the Run button, and the analyzer will automatically sweep through all of the frequencies between your start and stop frequencies and record their amplitude and phase differences between your input and output. If you switch your mapping to linear, you'll notice that this should very closely resemble the plot that you make from your observations during the lab. To construct your high pass filter, connect the capacitor and resistor as shown here. Now connect analog output zero to the positive bus bar of your breadboard and analog ground to the negative bus board. Now connect the capacitor to the positive bus bar and the resistor to the negative bus bar. Connect analog input zero to the positive bus bar and analog put input zero minus to the negative bus bar. Now connect analog input one positive to the negative side of the capacitor and analog input one minus to the negative bus bar. Use the function genera generator oscilloscope tools to perform all the measurements that you perform performed with the low pass filter and also to do a uh, Bode analysis.